Do I walk by the flesh or by the Spirit? Welcome to Coffee with Pastor B. What if I were the one to tell you that the fight's already been won? Well, I think your day's about to get better. What if I were the one to tell you that the work's already been done? It's not good news, it's the best news ever. I know it's been a while since we've uh, put one of these out there, since I've, I've been one. Uh, been willing to do one of these, and you know, God has laid it on my heart, especially in light of what I'm reading today, and that's talking about walking in the flesh or in the spirit, and which one will I choose to walk in, the flesh or the spirit? I've kind of been in my flesh lately, and kind of put off doing these devotions to the Lord first, and most, but secondly, for those who I can share my thoughts with, with my spirit, with with the Holy Spirit, with with the Scripture, with. And, you know, it's much like Manasseh in Second Chronicles 33, uh, which is kind of where I was reading this morning. See, he wasn't working for God the way he ought to work for God. He wasn't putting his heart and his soul into it. As a matter of fact, it says this in verses 1, uh, excuse me, 2 and 3, And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to the abominations of the nations whom the Lord disposed before the sons of Israel. For he rebuilt the high places which Hezekiah his father had broken down. He also rejected altars or erected altars for the Baals and made ashram and worshipped all the hosts of heaven and served them. So basically what happened is he decided to do what was different than what his father did. His father had come in and he had destroyed all these things and he served the Lord his God with all that he had. Manasseh went the other way. He brought back all of these things. See, he decided to walk by the flesh. See, when when we're walking in the flesh, it means we're not doing the things of God. We're, we're fulfilling the things we want to do, not necessarily the things that God has called us to do. Uh, sometimes the things we want to do line up with God, but oftentimes our flesh is, uh, is at odds with God. We want to do one thing, but God is calling us to another, much like not doing the devotions I should have been doing this whole time. Uh, and, and turning my heart and repenting and doing these devotions for God and then to share with others because I truly believe that this the word of God needs to be shared out. But Manasseh was not following God. He was doing the opposite. He was following the flesh. And it can seem noble and good because we're listening to the voices of the world. We're listening to the things that the world tells us are okay and that, that we should be doing. You know, things like pouring into uh, the things that don't belong to God pouring in and giving all our time, energy, effort, treasures to what does not belong to God instead of pouring those things into what God is calling us to be and to do. That which seems to serve the the spirit, but what is it what actually is serving the flesh. See, Satan is really good at twisting things up, at taking the scripture and turning it on its head to make you feel like what you're doing is for God. But in the end, you know that it's walking in the flesh, just as Manasseh knew that he was walking in the flesh. He was listening to the counsel of the world and not the counsel of God. So we must listen to the counsel of God. See, men don't do these things without influence. Even the king doesn't do these things without influence. He didn't just wake up one day and decide to start worshiping the gods of other nations. No, I'm sure it's much like our own country when we don't listen to the voice of God and we listen to the voice of the world that says, oh, you know, the Bible is just, just kind of this guideline. It's outdated. They didn't understand what we understand now. They didn't be able to follow the science of it all. Instead, no, they turn and say, let us, let us listen to the words of men and not the words of God. That's exactly what was going on in Israel. And they listened to the words of men instead of the words of God. And here's Manasseh walking in this flesh. We can all come to that point in our lives where we're walking in the flesh and not walking in the spirit of God. I want to steer us a different way. I want to steer us into a different course with that. And that's to follow the spirit, to walk in the spirit. See, and, and, and the Bible doesn't tell us just to follow. It says to walk in the Spirit. That means it's going to take the whole uh, bunch of our heart, the whole bunch of our soul, the whole bunch of our body, not just a piece of us. It's not about just following. It's walking in these ways because there's always a chance to repent and come back out of what is going on in our lives, of following the flesh. It says so in Second Chronicles. This is still Manasseh, and, and, and he comes to his realization as he's taken into bondage. 
And, and here in verse 12, it picks up and he says, when he, meaning Manasseh, was in distress, he entreated the Lord. He prayed, in other words, he, he entreated the Lord his God, and he humbled himself greatly before the God of his fathers. And when he prayed to him, he was moved by his entreaty, meaning God was moved by his entreaty, and he heard his supplication, and he brought him again to Jerusalem to his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that the Lord was God. Manasseh knew the Lord God. Saying it wasn't the, the word was here is is an added word in our English. He basically says he knew the Lord God. He began to understand and he understood who God was. He understood the power of God. He understood the authority of God. He understood that what he was doing was wrong, that he was walking in the flesh and he needed to walk in the spirit. And so he repented. And he comes through, and if we read through there, he tears down all of the idols in high places. He gets rid of all of the priests of Baal and all these evil things. And he comes to do the things of God, and he rebuilds the temple of God, and he follows the word of God. See, he repented fully in his heart. He followed God completely in the end. Because serving God is definitely preferable to serving the flesh. Serving the spirit is always preferable to serving the flesh. Uh, and, and until we're dead, we always have a chance to repent. We always have a chance to come back to God. We always have that chance to glorify him and to turn to do what is right in his name. Uh, because when we don't, when we walk in the flesh, life gets rough. Life gets hard. Uh, and God will discipline us until we come back. God will try to get us to come back to him. Because in the end, that's where he wants us. He wants us in the good life of living with him. So in your life today, when we go through these things and you realize you're living in the flesh and not in the spirit, you've got to repent and consecrate yourself back to God. You've got to cleanse yourself. See, that's what, uh, uh, that's what Manasseh did when he went into the temples. And stuff. They, they reconsecrated uh, the temple, the priests and everything back to God. They reconsecrated the people. They washed the people clean, brought them back to God because they were doing what was evil in the sight of the Lord. And then they moved and they repented to do what was good in the sight of the Lord. And life was good for them. God wants to provide us the good things. He wants to provide us the blessings. But a lot of times we're blocking those blessings by walking in the flesh and not in the spirit. So today, uh, that's what I want to challenge you today. Uh, wherever you're walking in the flesh, repent, come back to God, consecrate yourself daily in prayer and in the word to bring yourself to God. Consecrate yourself on Sundays by coming to worship service and being with the family and realizing we're all trying to repent and come back to God on that daily basis to turn away from walking in the flesh and to learn how to walk in the spirit. For that's what we want to do, and it's a daily practice. We get charged up on Sunday. We can come in and serve one another and realize what that looks like. And then Monday to Saturday, we can consecrate ourselves daily in the Word and in prayer and loving each other and in spreading the Word of God so that we are walking in the Spirit and not in the flesh. Thanks for joining me for uh, just a sip of coffee and a look at the Word. God bless you all.